tapusin na natin tong video discussion na ito. Pero bago ang lahat, hello, good morning, good afternoon, <laughs> and good evening, Matibay students! Welcome to our Matibay class! Bakit ganun tayo pa hyper? Bakit ganun tayo hyper? Unang-una, nakakatuwa dahil last video discussion na natin ito at mapopromote na sila sa grade 12. Ako, mixed emotion kapatid. Yes. Why, ma'am? Last video discussion, mamimiss ko ang bawat estudyante natin ng Core 006. Yan, and dahil grade 11 subjects tayong dalawa, oh. no? Hindi tayo sure kung mahahawakan pa natin sila pagdating ng kanilang grade, grade 12. 12. So, pero sana, hopefully, mabigyan tayo ng pang grade 12 na subjects. Din. At syempre, sana, 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 lahat ng ating mga pinagsamahan sa video discussion, remote coaching, sa GC ay hindi hindi natin makakalimutan. Yes, and babaunin ninyo yun hanggang pagdating ninyo ng college. Okay! Lagi yung tatandaan mga anak na love-love namin kayo ni Mang Tintin. Maski grade 12 kayo, college kayo, at syempre dapat magpatuloy sila sa upang. Yes. Quality education yan eh. Okay? Tama. Andito lang kami ni Mang Tintin para sa inyo Message lahat. Message lang kami, just call our names and we will be there. At dahil nagpaalam na kami, wala na tayong topic. <laughs> Goodbye mga anak. <laughs> Akala ko kanina, mag, ano ka na, mag Eh. Okay! Module 26! Oh, at dahil module 26 na, yan na po yung ating last module for Core 006. And it's all about calculating the person's correlation coefficient. Okay, Di ba may patribuya ka dyan? May patribuya ka dyan? Oo. Kaya siya tinawag na person's correlation dahil ang taong naka-invento po ng formula na yan ay si Mr. Pearson. Oo, na may karelasyon. <laughs> <laughs> okay! <laughs> For this topic, we have two objectives. First is to define correlation. And second is to calculate the Pearson's correlation coefficient. Okay, let's go. Okay. And we have this very long formula. Wala pa. Ay, wala pa ba? Ano nga bang kinatawag natin correlation? When we say correlation, <laughs> is the measure of relation association between two variables. An analysis of correlation is a method of measuring the strength of such a relationship between two variables. Ayan. So, dito, test natin or titignan natin kung meron nga bang relationship yung dalawang bagay Bar na uh, pinakaalala natin. Na pinakukumpare natin. Yes. Something like that. Okay. And, yun nga, Pearson Correlation Coefficient or Pearson's R is an index of relationship between two variables. Okay. Ito na yung sinasabi mong pagka-iksi-iksing formula. <laughs> okay, huwag na natin discuss. Okay, person's formula stands with small letter R is equal to N summation of XY minus summation of X times summation of Y all over the square root of N times summation of X raised to the power of 2 minus, okay, summation of X, okay, close and open parenthesis squared times n summation of y squared minus, okay, closing open parenthesis summation of y squared. Okay, take yeah. note, na dito ang hindi pakituro, okay, nasa labas po ang ating squared. Yeah. So, magkaiba ito kapatid, ma'am. Magkaiba yung na square, magkaiba, magkaiba yung x na okay. yung square. Okay, so mamaya malalaman nila okay. lahat yan. We're in. Ito yung mga definitions, where r is the Pearson product moment coefficient of correlation. N is a sample size. Summation of x, y is the summation of the product of x and y. Alam na nila yan kapatid, yes. when we say summation, okay, we're dealing with sum. Sum, add mo siya lahat. Okay. okay. And of course, the summation of x, summation of y is the product of the summation of x and the summation of y. And summation of x squared is the summation of the squares of x. Summation of y squared is the summation of the squares of y. Ayan. Okay, so, take note ma'am, mahaba-haba siya, ma-process siya, pero super dali niya. Yes, and meron tayong iturong technique dyan maya-maya lang. And isa sa pinaka-basic na dapat gawin is huwag na huwag kayong magkakamali sa... Yes, sa una pa lang. Una Kasi pa lang. isang kabali mo dyan mga anak, ibig sabihin mamamali na ang iyong sagot. Okay, so wag na tayong magpaligoy-ligoy. Let us now proceed with our examples! We have here x and y. We have x squared, d squared lang natin si x. y squared, d squared lang natin si y. And xy, multiply lang natin si x and si y. Unahin natin si x squared. Okay? Take note, ma'am, pag nagkamali sila dyan ng isa, Yes, mali na lahat. Ma'am, summation of x muna. Summation. summation of x muna. Tayo. Ayun, summation of x meron sa baba. So, from the word itself, summation, i-add mo lang siya. So, we have 38 plus... Mag-dictate ako, 38. 38. Plus 38. 44. 
32, 32, 51, 51, 77, 77 32. Plus 52. Kailangan ko mag-ingat dahil may pagkaduling ako. Baka ulitin namin simula umpisa. <laughs> so we have summation of x or ang total ng x is 445. Next, summation of x. 135. Summation of y pala, 135. 140. 140. 137. 137. 141. 141. 147. 147. 145. 145. 132. 132. 149. 149. 164. 164. 130. 130. Equals. So, the summation of our y is 1420. Let's now go on with x squared. Gaya ng sinabi ko, squared lang natin yan. So, we have 38 squared is 1,444. 1,444. Since kaparehas yung dalawa, kopyahin lang natin. Alam nga itype mo pala at yan. Okay, next, we have 44 squared. 44 squared is 1,936. We have 1,936. Parehas ulit, 1,936. We have 51 squared. 51 squared, 2,601. 2,601. Kaparehas nung... After 32. 2601. We also have 32 squared. 1024. 1024. Kaparehas niya ulit si 1024. Next, 77 squared. We have 5929. 5929. Next, after natin kunin yung x squared, kunin natin ang summation. Next squared, ibig sabihin, we are going to add everything. 1444 plus 1444 plus 1446 plus 1436 plus 2601 plus 2601 plus 1202 plus 2601 plus 5929 plus 1024 it is equal to 2133 2133 we have 140 squared okay 19600 137 squared 18769 141 squared ay sorry squared is 98811 147 147 squared we have 21609 145 squared we have 21025 132 squared we have 17424 149 squared 22201 next 164 squared 164 squared we have 26896 we have 130 squared is 16900 next gaya ng ginawa natin kay x i-add din natin or kukunin din natin yung summation ng y squared so we have 18225 plus 19600 plus 18769 Plus 1981 plus 21 plus 21 plus 21 Okay, we have 202,530. Hindi naman siguro tayo nagkamali, no? Wala. Okay. Next. X times Y. X times Y. So, babalik tayo dito. X times Y. So, we have... 38 times 135. 38 times 135. It is equal to 5,130. 
Next, 38 times 140 is equal to 5, 3, 20. Again, we have 38 times 137. We have 5, 2, 0, 6. We have 44 times 141 is 6, 2, 0, 4. We have 44 times 147 is equal to 6, 4, 6, 8. Baka makatulog kayo pag pinapanood nyo to. Diyos ko. 51 times 145. We have 7, 3, 9, 5. We have 32 times 132. 4, 2, 2, 4. 51 times 149 is equal to 7, 5, 9, 9. 77 times 164 one, one, is 1, 2, 6, 2, 8. eight. Last, 32 times 130 is equal to 4, 1, 6, 0. Again, summation. get the summation. So, i-add natin lahat yan. Huwag na wag tayong magkakamali dahil um, baka dyan pa magsimula ang lahat. Bawal sa batas. 5130 plus 5330 plus 5206 plus Ayan. Six, we have 64352. So, kompleto na natin ang table. Meron na tayong summation ng lahat. Kung meron na tayong summation ng lahat, we are now ready to substitute it to our formula. Ito nga ulit yung ating formula. Okay, let us now substitute it sa, to our formula. <laughs> but before that, alamin muna natin kung ano ang ating N. N. Our N is equal to, bilangin natin kung ilan. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, ang N natin ay 10 or ang sample size natin ay 10. Let's substitute sa ating formula. We have R is equal to, just ko, ang haba. Okay, our N is 10. 10. Imumultiply daw natin siya sa summation ng x and y. Ano ang summation ng x and y? We have 6, 4, 3, 5, 2. Close. Minus. Summation ng x is? We have here. Summation ng x is 445. Times. Summation ng y. Ang summation ng y natin is ito. 1, 4, so we have 1, 4, 20. Close. Let's proceed to our denominator. Huwag kakalimutan ang radical sign. Okay, so we have n natin is 10. Imumultiply daw natin siya sa summation ng x squared. Ang summation ng x squared natin ay ito. So we have 21, 3, 8, 3, close, minus summation ng x Ang summation daw ng x ay kailangan nating i-square. So, summation ng x natin ay 445. Nasa labas kasi square. Kailangan nating i-square. Next. Tapos na tayo kay x. Next naman ay si y. We have n. Again, ang n natin is 10. Multiplied to summation of y squared. Summation of y squared. Ito po siya. So, we have 202. 530 minus summation ng y at kailangan natin siyang i-squared. So, we have 1, 4, 20. Kailangan natin siyang i-squared. Next, Sa let's taas, proceed with mano-mano. We have r now is equal to? Sa taas muna. Yes. Unahin natin yung nasa taas. We have 10 times 10 times, ilan? Pwede na i-diretso yan. 6, 4, 3, 5, 2. Close. Hindi, un, uh, ano hin natin? Isa-isahin isa. for the sake ng mga hindi kagandahan ng calculator. Is equal to 6, 4, 3, 5, 2, 0 minus 
Ito, 4, 4, 5 times 1, 4, 2, 0. Okay. We have 6, 3, 1, 900. 6, 3, 1, 900. Pwede mo na i-multiply yung baba. Yeah. All over sa baba. Solve natin. Huwag ka kalimutan ang radical sign. Okay. I-multiply muna natin si 10 para matanggal na si 10 dyan. So, we have 10 times 2, 1, 3, 8, 3. Okay. We have 2, 1, 3, 8, 3, 0. Minus. Square na, na. square na natin. 4, 4, 5 squared. Ilan? 1, 9, 8, 0, 2, 5. 1, 9, 8, 0, 2, 5. Okay. okay. Next. Another. Si 10 din. 10 times. <clears throat> 2, 0, 2, 5, 30. Okay, dagdagan mo lang ng isang zero. Isang zero. <laughs> 2, 0, 2, 5, 3, 0, 0. Minus, eto, 14, 20 squared is 20, eh, 2 million, 16,400. 16, Next! Ayan. Unahin ulit natin yung nasa taas. Pwede mo na silang pag-minusin. So, we have 6, 4, 3, 5, 20 minus 6, 6, 3, 1, 900 is equal to 11,620. 11,620. Sa baba, radical sign ulit. Pag-minusin na. Pag-minusin muna natin yan. So, we have 2, 1, 3, 8, 3, 0, minus 1, 9, 8, 0, 2, 5. Okay. 15, 0, 15, 8, 0, 5. We have 15, 8, 0, 5. Times. Times. 20, 2, 5. 300 minus 2, 0, 1, 6, 400 is equal to 8,900. Next. Ang haba. Pagtaisin mo na nasa baba. Copy Unahin nasa natin yung nasa baba since nasa nakasimplify taas. na yung nasa taas. We have Copy no R lang. is equal to <laughs> ang intense mo naman, Sir Jason. 11,620. Uh, I-multiply natin yung nasa Just baba. Pag yan, di na 15,805 times 8,900 is equal to hmm, nagado. 1406645500 Again, niya, do not forget the radical sign. Uh, Next, muna. R is equal to copy ulit 11620 all over. Ano ang square, square root niyan? Muna. Square root of 1406645500 is equal to ilan? 11,860 point. Isulat na natin lahat ng decimal point Tama. para sigurado. 20657. 20657. Okay. Pwede na natin siyang simplify or pwede na natin makuha yung final answer. 11,620 divided by 11,860.20657. Wala na akong boses. It is equal to 0. 9797468475 Pero sabi nga namin kanina, magbibigay kami kung ilang decimal points lang ang kailangan ninyong kunin. Let's say for example, ma'am, 4 digits right four after digits. decimal. 4 digits. So point. our final answer is equal to 0. 0.9797 final answer. Sa exam nila, one item ah. pero gaano kahabang solution? 100 points kagad yun. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Uh Core 006 students, I hope na enjoy ninyo yung buong semester na pinagsamasamahan, pinagsamahan natin ngayong semester na ito. Huwag nyo kalilimutan lahat ng topics natin mga anak kasi magagamit nyo yan in the future, lalong lalo na pag college kayo. Okay? Yes, and... Huwag kayong maniniwala sa idea na na hindi maa-apply ang lahat ng pinag-aaralan natin sa math pagdating ng araw, pero may i-apply talaga lahat. Okay, and huwag kakalimutan na minsan sa inyong senior high school, meron kayong naging teacher na... Munar. Munar at Mulina. Muli, lagi nyo tatandaan na lahat kayo importante sa amin yes. at kayang-kaya ang lahat laban lang mga anak lagi nating tatandaan hashtag matibay tayong lahat bye bye, bye, bye.